Australia's F-A-18F Super Hornet fleet represents a critical component of the Royal Australian Air Force's modern air combat capabilities. Acquired as a stopgap measure to replace the aging F-111 strike bombers and to mitigate risks posed by delays in the F-35 program, the Super Hornet's journey into Australian service has been marked by controversy, operational success, and continuous upgrades. The procurement of the Super Hornets began with the Australian government's decision on the 3rd of May 2007 to sign a $2.9 billion contract for 24 FA-18F aircraft. This decision, part of a broader $6 billion package that included training and logistical support, was seen as an interim measure to ensure Australia retained a credible strike capability. At the time, the move was met with significant opposition from retired senior RAF officers who argued that the FA-18F lacked the range and strategic deterrent power of the F-111. Others voiced concerns about the aircraft's ability to counter advanced regional threats, specifically pointing to the perceived superiority of the Russian-built MiG-29 and Su-30 jets operated by neighboring Southeast Asian air forces. Despite this, in March 2008, the new Labour government affirmed the purchase, citing the irreversible retirement of the F-111 and the pressing need for a capable, immediately available multi-role fighter. The first RAF Super Hornet took flight from Boeing's factory in St. Louis, Missouri, on the 21st of July 2009, with RF crews commencing training in the U.S. that same year. The aircraft arrived in Australia in multiple batches, with the first five landing at RF Base Amberley on the 26th of March 2010. The final delivery took place in December 2010, and the fleet achieved full operational capability by December 2012. Notably, 12 of the 24 Super Hornets were wired for potential future conversion to the EA-18G Growler electronic warfare variant. However, in 2013, Australia opted to purchase 12 new EA-18Gs directly, rather than converting any FA-18Fs. The Super Hornet quickly found itself in combat, with eight aircraft deployed to the Middle East in September 2014 as part of Operation Okra, Australia's contribution to the coalition effort against the Islamic State. On the 5th of October 2014, the RAF began flying combat missions over Iraq, and three days later, an F-A-18F conducted its first strike, dropping GPS-guided bombs on an IS target. These missions demonstrated the aircraft's versatility in air-to-ground operations and its capacity to integrate seamlessly with Allied forces. The fleet has not been without incident. On the 8th of December 2020, an FA-18F experienced a mishap during takeoff at RAF Base Amberley, resulting in a crash and successful crew ejection. While the aircraft was temporarily grounded for investigation, it was repaired and returned to service by mid-2021. Australia has invested heavily in keeping its Super Hornets combat ready through incremental upgrades. The Super Hornet Spiral Upgrade Program, aligned with similar efforts by the U.S. Navy, focuses on enhancing navigation, targeting, and electronic warfare systems. A major upcoming addition is the integration of 12 ASG-34A V1 Block II infrared search and track pods. These advanced sensors, expected by the end of 2025, will significantly boost the Super Hornet's ability to detect and track stealthy or electronically silent threats without relying on radar. Importantly, these IRST pods do not require the aircraft to be upgraded to the Block 3 standard, allowing seamless integration with the current fleet. Furthermore, the RF plans to arm its Super Hornets with the US-developed hypersonic attack cruise missile, HAGM. This weapon, part of the Southern Cross Integrated Flight Research Experiment Program, is a Mach 5 class missile that will dramatically enhance Australia's long-range strike capabilities. With the RAF also operating F-35A Lightning IIs and EA-18G Growlers, the Super Hornet is poised to work in tandem with these platforms, ensuring a layered and resilient air combat force. Beyond weaponry and sensors, 
The RAF has also focused on enhancing the interoperability of the Super Hornet with other aircraft and systems. The Link-16 Tactical Data Link System allows real-time information sharing between the Super Hornet, F-35A, EA-18G, and ground forces, ensuring seamless coordination during joint operations. This network-centric approach boosts the effectiveness of each platform, with the Super Hornet acting as a workhorse for both strike missions and as a force multiplier for other advanced assets. In terms of training and support, the RF's partnership with Boeing Defense Australia has been pivotal. The company provides comprehensive sustainment services under a $600 million contract extension awarded in January 2024, ensuring both the Super Hornet and Growler fleets remain mission ready through 2030. This contract covers everything from maintenance and engineering support to the integration of new technologies, securing over 350 jobs at RAF Base Amberley. When comparing the Super Hornet's capabilities to regional competitors, its strengths lie in versatility and interoperability. While some of Australia's neighbors, such as Indonesia and Malaysia, field advanced Russian aircraft like the Su-30, the Super Hornet benefits from superior avionics, ESA radar technology, and access to cutting-edge U.S. weapon systems. The upcoming hypersonic missile integration and IRST pods further reinforce its competitive edge. However, the Super Hornet's lack of stealth and its shorter combat radius compared to fifth-generation fighters remain areas of concern, particularly as nations like China continue to expand their stealth aircraft fleets. In addition to regional competitors, Australia's evolving defense posture has pushed for greater alignment with key allies, such as the United States. The Super Hornet's compatibility with U.S. Navy fleets ensures that joint operations, whether in the Indo-Pacific or beyond, are highly coordinated. This interoperability is crucial given rising geopolitical tensions and the growing importance of a unified front among allied air forces. Australia's defense doctrine also places the Super Hornet in a pivotal role for deterrence and rapid response. With the growing threat of cyber warfare and electronic attacks, the pairing of the FA-18F with the EA-18G Growler offers a robust combination of strike power and electronic warfare capabilities. The Growler's ability to disrupt enemy radar and communication systems complements the Super Hornet's offensive capabilities, creating a dynamic duo that can execute both preemptive and retaliatory operations. Looking ahead, Australia's long-term strategy includes the eventual transition to a next-generation air combat capability, with the FA-18F expected to remain in service until the mid-2030s. While discussions about a replacement are ongoing, the current focus remains on maximizing the Super Hornet's lethality and survivability. Whether through advanced munitions, sensor upgrades, or joint training exercises with allies, the ORAF is determined to maintain a cutting-edge combat fleet. In summary, Australia's FA-18F Super Hornet fleet has evolved from a contentious procurement to a cornerstone of the RAF's modern air combat doctrine. While initially seen as a stopgap solution, continuous upgrades and strategic integrations have solidified its role in the nation's defense strategy. Positioned alongside F-35As and EA-18Gs, the Super Hornet ensures Australia maintains a credible, flexible, and potent air combat capability well into the 2030s. The aircraft's adaptability, combined with its proven combat record and ongoing technological enhancements, makes it a formidable asset in safeguarding Australia's national security.